Good evening. Today I'm going to be taking you on an exciting journey into the world of 86 Box. And I got down this road because I wanted to run SimCity 2000 in a Windows 98 virtual machine. I have a Zen CPU, and unfortunately, you cannot Windows 98, possibly even not Windows 95 as well with a Zen CPU. I There's just some kind of architectural issue. So an Intel CPU should be fine, but uh, no, I can't do it with a Ryzen CPU, unfortunately. So I have a virtual 486. Well, an emulated 486. So it's not going to be, I think, as fast on the CPU side natively, but this might it might be more accurate in the end. So I took, to, I took a 486, um, 75 megahertz. They say not to do anything in the triple digits unless you have like a monster CPU. 32 megs of RAM, I wouldn't put any more than that because you start to get into program compatibility issues when you do. Like, you know, there is such a thing as too much RAM, amazingly. I tried a whole bunch of different video cards. This one, this S386C805, was one that I could find a driver for Windows 3.1, and I haven't had... Um, I haven't had too many like glitches or anything with it, so it, it's pretty good. I was using, I was using one of these other ones. I forget if it was the Trio sixty four or if it was one of these Vision cards, but whatever it was, it was it was kind of crashing sometimes and glitching a little bit. So might have been too much fun for for this setup. Yeah, mouse, Microsoft serial mouse, uh, Sound Blaster sixteen. I mean, you could go, you could go for like the AWS sixty four or something, but. Uh, I think you're going to have to deal with like special drivers to get like the plug and play stuff to work in DOS. And you're not going to, I don't think you're going to have like the very best, you know, wavetable stuff available either. So you might as well just go for a Sound Blaster 16. You can um, like emulate a Roland MT32 for output. Um, I haven't gotten it to sound very good. So I'm just saying none. And we're just going to get the whatever's negative on the emulated sb16 which, which is fine it, it sounds fine uh network this part i would say um instead of instead of trying pcap i would start with slurp first so slurp is kind of like is going to end up kind of being like having your like host only adapter with a virtual machine um and then pcap is like if you want to have that bridged adapter so if you want your virtual machine or in this case an emulated uh, PC to be like a first class citizen on your network, like as if it had its own independent connection. So, so you bridge it. So, um, you, you go with PCAP, but you have to, you have to install like a certain other utility to get this to work. It's not as convenient as VMware or virtual box where you can just be like a oh, bridged adapter and off you go. No, this, this you need, and you also need to bridge it to a real physical, uh, ethernet adapter. So if you're just, if you're on a laptop and just using Wi-Fi, this, that's not going to be available to you. So you'll have to use slurp. Honestly, unless you want to run servers, on your emulated PC, you might as well just use Slurp. I just wanted it to be like, oh, well, I could, you know, I could run an, a little FTP server or HTTP server if I wanted to, but uh, yeah, I don't know if that's a headache worth getting into. If you want to do that, then then PCAP, but uh, I think for most people, Slurp will, will do, or just don't even bother with networking at all. Uh, this stuff I just left all except uh, HD controller, uh, I was able to pick, there's an internal controller available, so I just picked that. Uh, hard disk was actually pretty easy to set up. You just basically go like new and you're like, um, well, I don't know what's happening here. And then I just picked custom large and then kicked in like a gigabyte and everything else just sort of filled in. So that was pretty easy. And the BIOS, this particular BIOS, if we just... Yes. Okay. Um, this had a pretty, pretty easy to use, um, uh, you know, CMOS utility. So you press delete when it starts up and so you can, so you did, you did have to do, you did have to use it. It didn't like just automatically do everything, but as you know, I mean, compared to like using dip switches in the, in the real old days, it's, it's, it's very easy. I picked a 2.88 megabyte floppy drive. I've always wanted one. I've never, I've never seen uh, like an ed disc you know hd discs were everywhere the 1.44s but i never saw any 2.88s and uh but uh 
I did see 1.2 meg floppies. My my uncle did have those, although they weren't as common as the as the uh, 360ks for sure. Uh, or seven. Oh, there were 720ks, uh, five and a quarters as well. I always associated that as a three and a half size, um, three and a half disc format. But anyway, and I'm definitely not messing messing around with modems and printers. Although I did uh, I did pick an Ethernet adapter that had a isa 16 which i like you know as a and although they have a visa loco bus card i mean maybe that'll be even faster but this one had a windows driver so and it's slow as molasses you know we're talking about like kilobits per second when it really should be you know megabits but you know it works so you know when i was able to ping google.com that was that was quite a thrill okay so let's uh so let's start this up So I might as well go full screen now. And to do that, I go Control Alt Page Up. Of course, this is scaled. So this doesn't look this doesn't look too good. But we're going to be going into Windows. So this is the um, what was it Phil's Computer Lab um, provides the files where you can get you can get the CD driver. Although you should have that built in with DOS. I mean, uh, dirt CD. I mean, yeah, there it is. So, so that's um, you know that you didn't really need, but for some reason, my this this um, six point two two installation didn't come with a mouse driver, which I, I thought I could have sworn that was like the basic Microsoft mouse driver was built into DOS, but apparently not. So. You know, and I had a non Microsoft mouse, but I you know it was a serial mouse. Uh, like a you know a three button serial mouse on my 386 laptop and i use the microsoft mouse driver all the time but now i don't know where i got it from i just assumed it was in dos but anyway so now uh us start up windows oh just uh um I just want to say this this Phil's computer lab thing it, it it's i don't know if i'd actually recommend it it might be you might be better off just to um find a mouse driver, find a CD driver, because, you know, you're going to have your config. Yeah, okay, fine. You have that fancy startup menu, but now your config sys is going to be all, like, spread out with all these different configurations. Fortunately, you can put, like, stuff here in the common area so that it'll always load, although that kind of also defeats the purpose of having that, like, having all those menus, um, having those those pre-done configurations because it's like okay i'm always going to get sound i personally i you know i i don't ever not want sound uh for anything i'm doing it's just something to think about you you know different programs have different degrees of understanding of that's how your config sys is laid out uh it's kind of the same deal with the auto accept up bat um also, putting ad echo off at the top highly recommended because uh, otherwise it's it's extremely it's extremely verbose uh, getting started up and it's it's saying enough things already. Uh, the there was like a I don't know if we can I can just show it right now. Was it Control F? Welcome back. It is now what I like to call tomorrow. Control F twelve. Yes, it does reset. Your emulated computer. F12 is also the pause hotkey that I've set up in OBS. So I went on for hours and none of it was recorded. So I definitely deserve a YouTube Darwin Award for that. But anyway, I've actually downgraded my VGA card because I attempted to step down the card I was using and it was like I went into I went in to start doing SimCity and it crashed. Because uh, every time you uh, load SimCity 2000 with a new display or resolution setup, you have to go through this whole like video configuration thing all over again. It takes up to several minutes. Um, anyway, it crashed during that. So I've downgraded the video card to this Trident TVG8900D. It was recommended on a forum. Uh, it's only one meg of video memory. 
but it will support 800 by 600 uh, 256 colors even with uh, the uh, 512 uh, memory setup so so i'm going to start this and i'll show you what it's like to change displays in windows and my uh, and my little setup here and so anyway while that's booting i guess that's not going to take long to boot i guess there's not really much point in cutting away um so I have a virtual machine, no, not a virtual machine. I have a real Raspberry Pi. This is running uh, the ARM Ubuntu 64-bit. Uh, so it's on the Hippo version now. Can you get the distro out of that? Anyway, it's a, I think it's 2010? If I'm not, no, no, it's uh, 2104. Yeah, it's 2104. Let's see, can you tell me what you are? Twinkle, twinkle, little pie. How I wonder what you are. Anyway, it was an upgrade in place uh, to get up to 2104. Okay, so it was 2010 that they started um, putting out these like Raspberry Pi uh, optimized images of Ubuntu for like this is desktop Ubuntu. So that's kind of nice. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay, that's great. Um, yeah, but uh, so basically I just fire up a web browser and I go and I, you know, save whatever I need. So I've got this FTP uh, folder set up and uh, getting WinZip on, on that virtual machine was tricky. Like it was like extract it and then like do a touch star on all the files while you're still in Linux, then transfer it over and then it worked. We don't need to look at this anymore, but this is how that's where I like I store the drivers. And then over here on the Windows side, well, I actually can't I actually can't go into Windows straight away because I'm still set up for that S3 video driver. So I need to go to setup. And we will just change this. What? You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, well, we're not going to do Control F12 again. Yes, we will use the minimal RAM configuration. Got to be kidding me. Um, I mean, if I just do that, that'd be the least amount of memory I can have. Okay. I can use up. You have got to be kidding me. This is new. This this wasn't this wasn't a problem before. Okay, well, I guess this isn't going to work because it's what I did before, but. Wow. Okay. No, see, yeah, this is the thing. I can't stand. The... Oh. Come on. I mean, I gotta like write this down or something, like a plebeian. Installs backslash 86c backslash trident underscore backslash win. Okay, you win. What we're doing. Where did Windows Setup go? There it is. Okay. Installs 80. It's 88C, right? 88C. Trident. Oh, 
crying out loud. Okay, are you here? Okay, are you here? Um... That's 86C. Okay, well that explains that. There we go. Whew. All right. Um, we do have some higher resolutions here, but uh, 800 by 600, I think, is good. And we have a five. We have, well, we have more than 512. We have a whole meg. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's a better mode than this one. So let's do that. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. Does it look like I'm going to use CGA? I mean, really? Okay, existing image. Oh no. Didn't we just do this? Oh no. ERT eight thousand. Yeah, there it is. Trade8005.drv. What did I get wrong? Oh, right, it's 86C. Yeah, let's restart Windows. Smoke test. Okay, control page up. Okay, so everything's tiny, so I wonder if I can, if we can boost this up a bit. How does that look? That's tolerable. Ooh, this is kind of a grainy 256 colors. That's funny because when I was in 256 colors on the other card, it didn't look like this. But it might have been a different... a different color palette. I mean, they might have messed... they might have changed what... You know what the uh, power scheme is. I always liked ocean, but I might just make an adjustment. Uh, active title bar. Yeah, let's just do that. There we go. I can live with that. Okay. All right, let's play some games. Been a while. Oh, better get this. Uh-oh.
Anyway, heart's good to have, because that'll let you keep whatever, um... Um... Bonuses, um, you guess. Pickups after you get killed. So... Shield boost, that's nice. It's like I didn't use it at all. I feel like my shots don't wrap even though you know, the rocks and everything do. <laughs> nice! Metros, they're really good. Oof. Oh! Well, I still have my retros. I mean, I suppose I should be glad. Gift.
Get a new high score, anyway. There is another track included with this game. And you can dump, like, whatever midis you want into the program directory and play those instead. But here's the other one that came with it. Is it just me or just everything just looks a little funny with this video card? There's like there's like funny fringing. Maybe it's maybe it's the scaling that's making that show. I don't know. Whoa, ah! oh, get out of there. that do? Oh, it blows everything up once, okay. Especially a good one to get at the end. Oh, it's happening again. Surprised it doesn't loop. No. There it goes.
retros, all right. No! What a waste of retros. What did you go? Well, oh, new high score. Okay, well. Uh, and, I, and stunts in Dune 2 will work uh, full screen under Windows. Um, you know, it's maybe not ideal, but they work. Uh, Microman's a fun game. Need to get the, uh, give it a full exploration at a later date. Go. Get out of dodge when that happens. I do like stay on the spring and let us boost you up. The backstory to this is kind of like kind of dour. Like, you've been shrunk, and now you're inside these computers. There's no way that you'll ever actually be returned to normal size. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty freaky, really. Whoopsie. Let's get out of there. Oh, insert, insert the fire. There we go. Get some energy there. You need us. <laughs> oh, that wasn't smart. I should have de defeated that before I came in here. Can I destroy this? It's like taking damage. Power shot. Okay, well, I'm here at the power shot magnet again. Doggy, will you be my friend? Probably not. Not gonna take the chance. Sorry, buddy. Shot. Oh, nice. Oh, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's. Oh. 
Oh, looks like I'm climbing a ladder on the side of the screen, too. Oh, whoop. <laughs> I don't know about this guy. Oh, I don't fan shot anymore? What happened? Say two. Okay, uh, takes a few hits. Okay, uh, so, well, let's try to go back to SimCity and see how it looks. Oh, we get to sit through this again. Seems like it's speeding up a little bit towards the end, which is kind of nice. You know, I'm just playing around here, but I uh, could tell you a few things. Um, Reticulating spline. So one, one thing that happened to me was I made a coast, right? And I hit make, okay, everything's great. Spline. And if I do this, then I hit done. A new city founded. No, they're not saying my city is horrible. Uh, last time we were playing, it said horrible for both of them. I was starting. Uh, yeah, look at this. The ocean ends up on the wrong side. Just because I flipped my perspective to the right in the terrain editor, and then I end up here, and it's got the ocean on the wrong end. So, great stuff, game. Um... Anyway, so we are going to load. Uh, no, we're not going to save that. This is... I was working on two cities. Uh, this first one... They're both called Streamville. So this is one we started on. And I... You know, I was having some fun, you know. The money cheat and... Doing some terrain <laughs> that I discovered, you know. The ocean was on the wrong side, so... I gave up on that city pretty quickly. Uh, so we're going to go to this other Streamville. 
And this one I got a fair ways along. This one I, um, I got the mayor's house. Ooh, zero percent approval rating. That's almost as bad as Donald Trump. Okay. Um, and now... Uh, what else is going on? Oh yeah, I got a city hall too. That's down over here. I used to like to rename things and like put lots of signs around, but it starts to glitch out uh, when you've got too many. Well, too many for the game, not too many in my mind. Um, and I did get the subway reward. <laughs> So I have a little bit of a subway going. I didn't. I got the bus depot award too, but eh, I like buses in real life. I don't like buses in SimCity 2000. Um. Okay, what are we looking for? We're looking for more residential. Well, we can have some. I mean, I kind of wanted this to be like solid industrial, but let's see, will that work out? Anyway, if you want money in this game, and you're just, you know, having fun with the different things you can build, rather than trying to simulate a city, which is kind of, you have to build like really slowly and like check to make sure you're like getting a surplus and we'll let the game run for a long time really to get anywhere. Um, I mean, you can do it, it's just, it's kind of boring in my opinion. Um, so we have... In, um, in Windows 95, you would click the top of this, and then you would type in Priscilla. But here in Windows 3.1, it's oh wait, it's um, O I V A I Z M I R. Did I get it? I didn't get it. Let's try it again. V A I Z M I R. There we go. Yeah, well, let's put some more. As you can see, I had already I'd already done this. We're doing it again. Oh, good way to get your power is, um, you know, make a bunch of, make a hillside, put to, put in your water tiles, and then build the hydro on it. Uh, and we're just sort of pretending it's pumped hydro, so I put water pumps at the top. Um, the um, water pumps, uh, you can just, like, build them, like, in a little area. And if you build them close to water, they work better. And adjacent to water they they work better uh, so this one should be like yeah 31 and then this one's even more because it's got like three on the front of us um and i mean you could put water on the other side and they do even better but the point i'm trying to make is you don't actually have to supply water to your city it makes no difference whatsoever uh so i just put it like in a little area and then you don't get the water shortage reported message ever because it's like, well, as far as the simulation is concerned, it's flush with water, even though you know, all the pipes are dry. But even if it was saying like water shortage reported, it wouldn't it wouldn't affect anything. You'd just see newspaper headlines and stuff. And but it wouldn't it wouldn't really affect how the rest of the simulation works. Um, well, I might have to buckle. I might have to knuckle under. And put some residential right there, even though I don't really want to. And we'll just put in a little bit of park to buffer it. And we'll do this. So we can take out this power line. There we go. That might be a little more stimulating. 
you know, put in another police station too. I should check the uh, city officials, see what they're saying. So, um, yeah, everybody loves him. Um, if you're on no disasters, if you're not on no disasters, they'll come up with their own ordinances. But if you're on no disasters, it'll stay to what you set it at. Um, oh, well, we definitely don't need to take out a bond. Okay, we'll build another school. Um, if you reduce the transit funding, your highways are going to start exploding, so that's not good. I mean, like, all the roads will just start randomly blowing up, so you don't want to do that. Uh, so let's have a school. Yeah, lots of traffic. You hear the honking honking sound effect too much you can just like delete it from the program directory <laughs> i've done that on a few playthroughs just sweep that problem under the rug uh you're still looking for more residential why howdy oh you're not going to develop But now you will. You have to be within three of the road, but like these things like schools and fire departments and police departments and those kinds of things, you don't need to connect them on the road. They'll function just as well without having the road connection. So they're a good thing to just sort of tuck in, tuck in away from the roads. And I also said last time, um, there's this sub-rail piece, it doesn't work. So you can have a rail network, you can have a subway network, but you can't have like a hybrid subway rail network. Well, I mean, you can aesthetically, but it has no, it has no function. You can't like connect like a subway area with a railway area and then like expect it to develop. Water treatment, eh? I don't know if that would actually do us any good. I could build it. Okay, can I... Oh, well, maybe I'll just stick it up here. Because if I start, you know, like, you would think you would be able to, like, level terrain in this direction and not have it blow up stuff, but... This game is pretty fussy about that. We are hearing horn honkers. Well, you know what they say. Horn honkers drive me bonkers. Yeah, there was like an editorial to one of the newspapers back home when we were home that said something like that. Horn honkers drive me bonkers. Like, people who are, like, checking to see if their doors are locked by hitting the lock button on their key fob again, and then it, like, makes the car honk. And, uh, so... I, uh... That's what I gotta say to... Oh. Bonkers for the... I don't think it... You're, you're, you'll have to come up here if you want to be heard. I don't want to be... You don't want to be heard? Okay. All right. Yeah, anyway, uh, my girlfriend's not super impressed with that same editorial, but uh, anyway, I do it sometimes when my car is out of sight. So I, can I do know, it all the time. Know that I locked it. You don't have a car. I used to. Oh. Before it was taken away. Uh, she says she used to before it was taken away the, from her. The Impaler. The Impaler. Yeah, the Impaler got impaled. It was a Chevrolet Impala, I presume. It uh, was. It was white. It was white. Yeah. 
But you'll have to come up here if you want to be heard, because, like, I have my mic set for, you know, close range use. <coughs> okay, she's coming over. Um, are you in Dusty Dunes right now? Dusty Dunes? What do you mean? Oh, that looks like, that looks like, um, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Oh, no. No, it's just a hilly city. Um... So yeah, it was a 2002 Chevy Impala, and um, it was supposed to um, go to me, but um, Dad sold it, and um, four hours after he sold it, it went into a tree. Yep. Oh, JB has appeared in the chat. Oh? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Justin Bieber? <laughs> uh. No, it's not. I'm, I'm not that angry about it. Because, you know, the car probably had more. It had work. That needed to be done on it that I probably couldn't have afforded. Mm. And I mean, you know, the owner, the person who bought it from my dad probably couldn't afford the work that he needed to put on it, too. Well, he definitely couldn't after. <laughs> yeah, no. I guess I guess it went to the junkyard after that. I have no idea. I just heard it went to the tree and that was it. Yeah. Buddy who drove it. Just walked out of it. He he was unharmed, as far as I know. But no. Hmm. Oh my god. Hmm. Your city's looking a little crowded. Oh. Crowding, crowded is good, right? We want lots of... No, crowding is bad. We want lots of big buildings. Mm. So, can you, like, make this, like, plague? Like, can you, like, make a disease go through the entire city? Uh, oh! There isn't, a, there isn't that kind of a disaster, but there's other ones. Make an earthquake happen. Okay. Yeah, save save city first. Can you like can you choose the magnitude earthquake or Nah, it's just kinda of random. Can I can we make a magnitude point two earthquake happen? <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, that's oh pre God. that's pretty high on the Richter scale. Oh my God! That's like that's like Mars. That's like the proto whatever became the moon hitting Earth. <laughs> like that's wow. 41. That's that's like when the dinosaurs died. Forty-one hundred deaths. Holy crap! Oh, oh, Innsbruck. It, it was it was uh, one hundred and ten miles away. Where it caused all those deaths. Oof. I don't think it did any real damage to this city. Oh, okay. Oh, but there's other disasters that could. Get a monster. Let's... Uh... Oh my god! It's War of the Worlds! Where's Tom Cruise? Yeah. This is where you would... Dispatch firefighters. What are the firefighters gonna do? <laughs> Put out the fires. Okay, send the police to arrest it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, send them. Get them to take water from pools. Anyway, I'm trying to clear around these fires so that they don't uh, they don't spread. Mm -hmm. Oh, this guy's busy. 
So this is why I play with no disasters. Yeah, yeah you can reload your save before I made you tear apart the city. I don't mind. No. Anyway, I wonder what the next milestone is. Oh, we need more commercial. Airport time. Maybe. I wait until it says we need an airport. Uh, make this commercial. Good little place for a library. And another thing I said is that, like, um, I like starting the game at 1900 because if you start at, like, the later years, the other cities in your sim nation are, are way ahead of you. So, I don't like that. Ooh! We got the corporate headquarters. Did we get anything good down here? Not yet. Highways! Yay! My favorite thing. Basically, I just play this game just to get to highways. Uh, did I leave any room for one? Don't really have much room for a practical highway here. Um, another thing is they're always elevated, so it's kind of they're not the easiest things to work with. Um, where could we put one? Just like doze along here, maybe. All right, um... That's uh, not gonna work.
Well, maybe I'll start with start with the simple one. Oh shoot. I'm going to necessitate more of the subway station slightly. Mm. Run power lines under highways kinda nice. I mean, you can run them over roads, because that's not really a big game changer, I suppose. There we go. I need to face that subway station. Ah. Oh. 
Opposite shore is too steep. Oh, I think Nessie just ate a boat or... There we go. Of course, that's a little silly. Ah.
gas power. There goes another boat. just can't stand the way power lines crossing water look, so we're going to build another hydro installation.
Yeah, the other good thing about Hydro is you never have to rebuild them. Same with Wind. The Wind is kind of fussy, Hydro is steady.
just ignore that that stop sign placement doesn't make any sense. Well, yes. that stop sign placement doesn't make any sense. Told you to ignore that. kind of getting hard to develop once you have your highways in and all these hills still around. Probably should have built just on flat ground. Well, next time. We at 20k yet? Yeah, we are. I guess that wasn't a milestone. All right, I think we're going to retire for the night. And be sure to save before you exit, because sometimes you don't get the save on exit prompt, or sometimes it'll crash. So save before you try to exit, and then exit and don't bother saving. OK. Um, what else do we have here? We can play. I have all the entertainment packs installed. Chips Challenge is a good one. So you notice it's playing canyon.mid, which it will play if, if Chips Challenge finds it in your Windows directory. And then it plays the other two built-in songs. And that's all it plays is those three midis. So you could, you know, dynamically, I suppose, like, swap in other files that you may want to play, but those are the only ones it's going to play. Uh, like, with putting other mids with the same name. So then you can, uh... Start a new game will begin you back at level one. Reset your score to zero and forget the passwords to any levels you have visited. Is that what you want? Okay, so... Here's where you start. Oh, the redraw is so visible. It wasn't like this with the other card. Yeah, I'm really gonna have to futz with this to, like, dial in just the right settings, so... Stay tuned for future episodes, but they may be... they may be sometime... sometime coming down the road. I suppose what you really need is, like, a retro PC. But I don't really have space for one at the moment. Got enough retro consoles. And then this is the other song you get. Anyway. Um, 
So we'll have to try that again with different video settings. Um, dare I go back to the S3? Woof. Um, I have to change the card out too. Not just not just going to Windows Setup and changing the driver. I actually have to you know get out and actually change the the emulated card. Um, what else is worth showing? Ski free. Oh, everybody loves ski free. Let's grab your numpad. Did I hear ski free? You sure did. <laughs> I'll try not to. Ooh, I got one style point. Two style points. You jump, Zero. There we go. Look at that. E. Wow. All right. That's, yeah, last time I got negative 94, so. Sweet. Ouch. Well, it's over anyway. We're just, just heading back to the lodge. There's a cup of hot cocoa waiting for us. So we're heading back to the lodge where there's some hot cocoa waiting for us. Okay, maybe maybe it'll be Laura Secord in the Keurig, but still. A lot of trees and rocks. Am I getting lost here? Oop, ouch. Ouch. We must be nearly there. I've been eaten. That's it. Anyway, so we will see you again some other time. Bye bye.